Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Stormworks video here on the Bizza channel. Today we're going to be starting a new series where we choose five vehicles off the workshop that I think are pretty cool. We then spawn each one of them in, give them a test and show them off a little bit. Some of the creations might be at the top of the workshop while others might be at the bottom of the workshop. But either way, I'm going to be choosing them because they're either pretty interesting builds or can be pretty useful for a career world. But anyways guys, without further ado, let's get started. Okie dokie, so to start off today's episode, we have the KA400 container truck made by Carnival. Carnival? Carnival? I'm not sure. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. <laughs> it has a top speed of 100 to 120 depending on the weight of the container on the back, and it costs a little over $56,000 to spawn in. So I'm going to run you through a few of the features on the outside of the truck, and then we're actually going to drive it down and attempt to pick up a container. So we'll see how that goes. So first of all, we have our hose anchor there. We have our fuel tank dial just there, 949 liters, and our cable anchor for recharging. We also have a little welder sitting underneath both of them and a hose so we can actually refuel the thing. Moving along, we actually have the controls for the crane. It's labeled just here. So this is the main boom up and down, and that is the second boom in and out, I suppose, up and down, <laughs> something like that. So bring all that back down for now. You can also control this with a remote control. So you grab it and it says there channel two. So you cycle over to number two and you have full control with your WASD keys, which is pretty nice. Anyway, let's put that back down. Can I do that? Nope, wrong way. And back down like that. Very good, so we're going to put that back just for now. We also have the supports button just there, so they come out and secure the truck so it can't tip over, which is pretty cool. And these are the winches when we actually connect it up to a container, so that's very good. We also have a liftable axle on the rear here, so when we're taking uh, quite a heavy container, we can put that down, it'll help with the weight. We have a few lights at the back, we have some brake lights and some blinkers, which is pretty neat, and just a few ropes on the other side here for connecting to the container. Not much more going on, we have a kill switch and another, what is this, another welder, yep. All right, very good. So let's make our way actually into the truck now. So we've got a little door handle just there. And it makes a little beep, which you can hear right now. Just like that. Pretty cool. Uh, so we jump in our seat. Can I get to it? Yes, I can. We'll shut that door. So we've got a few things going on in here. We have our handbrake. That says it's in low range, and that's high range. Okay, cool. It might live in high range. Oh, uh, there's the rear axle I was talking about. So that will put it down. As you can see, it's on the ground there. And we'll push it again. Boop. And it's back up in the air, which is pretty nice. And so that will help when it's up in the air, help with maneuverability, I suppose. We can move it around a bit easier. And we have a few things here, our floodlights, hazard lights. That will be our hazards just there and on the front, as you can see. Pretty nice, pretty well done. Turn those off. And we have some spotlights on the roof up there. They are extremely bright. Look at that. Very good. So let's turn those off as well. And we have the time on the dash there. We have our RPMs and our kilometers per hour and a few bits and pieces down there. So there's a key on this side we can turn on. Very good. And we can also push number five for our left blinker. As you can see, it's flashing there. And number six for our right blinker, which is pretty neat. I like it. Uh, so let's go for a little drive now. We'll turn off that handbrake. Let's go down and try and pick up a box if we can. That would be nice. There should be some. Yep, there's some down there. Very good. Also, I forgot to mention the whole cab is suspended separately to the chassis itself, which is pretty cool. You can see it kind of wobbling there. That is pretty realistic. I quite like that. It's a pretty cool little feature. Anyway, let's go and pick up. Let's pick up this white box. That looks pretty nice. Let's go park over here. Also, you push number one on your keyboard to go into reverse. Um, yes, that's a thing. So let's line up about here, something like that. Yeah, that's not too bad. Let's leave it there. Let's put the handbrake on so it doesn't go anywhere. Let's go and get this crane sorted out. So let's get our stands down. Yes, very good. Connected to the ground. Awesome. So let's go up like this and this one as well. So I'm going to bring this all across. Hopefully they're strong enough to pick up this container. This truck's been on the workshop for coming up to three years now, so it's pretty old, but it seems to work really well. Uh, so that is all pretty good. Let's go around and connect up a few ropes. So there, it's not quite in the middle, but that's all right. It should still work pretty well. Can I get in here? Very good. So we'll grab a rope, and we're going to have to do a big old jump like this, boink, and connect it up onto there. Awesome. So let's do that for all four of these. And this is the last one right there. Very good. So let's jump back in, and we're going to attempt to lift this thing up. Actually, we're going to do it over here, don't we? What am I talking about, man? <laughs> anyway, let's go. Up with, actually, we need to put the winches up first, don't we? Right in, right, left in, like that, yep. Okay, that should start to pick it up, hopefully. Yes, there it goes, very good. Come on, keep coming all the way up, I suppose. Then we'll start bringing this back over now. Is that the right way? Yep. Okay, that's working. We'll turn both of them off now. I don't think they need to be on anymore. So they're going to come all the way over to about here, I suppose. Can I reach that button, turn that on? I can, very good. Will that connect up? Oh, there, okay, there, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> very good let's put all of this down then these ones probably don't need to go all the way down to be honest if we just come down oh, can we let some of these out right out left out that will help take a bit of strain off there okay very good so we'll just leave them about there they're bending in a little bit they're coming out now should be fine turn them both off 
Very good. So that is it all kind of packed away. We'll put the stands in, but that's how it looks when it's sitting on the back. It looks pretty good. Let's get these supports back in. Very nice. Let's go for a little drive. We might drive back up to our shed there, and we're going to drop the container off, and then we're going to move on to the next creation. So let's jump inside, and we'll shut the door. Let's turn the handbrake off, and we're going to go for a little spin back up there. All right, come around. Let's be careful not to roll this thing over. Let's put that rear axle down as well. Take a bit of that weight. Um, go like that. Yep, there we go. Awesome. Steady is turning and on the ground now. That's pretty cool. Doesn't seem to pivot like steer. It's not a steering axle. It's just a weight carrying one, but that's all right. That's all good. Let's go up the hill here. So everything is suspended. That is awesome. I really like this thing. It looks awesome. It looks amazing. I like it. Anyway, let's go up here and we'll just drop the box off on the ground up here and we'll just park it maybe here. It should be fine. Er, it's very good. So let's turn the handbrake on. Very good. Let's jump out and we're going to drop this box off. So we need to be able to disconnect it, don't we? So can I reach that button yes i can awesome there it is very good so we need to start by going uh, the winches in right in and left in need to pick it nice and high very good and then we're going to start rolling it over just like this come on up you go there we go very good oh i didn't put the stands out no <laughs> oh dearie me okay well let's just pretend that didn't happen <laughs> but as you can see it, it will work if you know what you're doing <laughs> <laughs> Where is that supports button? Can I still get to it? All right, I think I might have managed to save this. Actually, let's try and get it back up, and we're going to try this again. Deary me, what a fail, man. Okay, we're actually all right, though. <laughs> Somehow. So let's park it right here, and we're going to go and put those stands out this time. That's probably a good idea. Let's quickly do that before we lose the whole thing. Uh, so we'll push that button supports. Yeah, yes, very good. Lucky. What a, that was a half decent save, I suppose. <laughs> and let's get this thing unloaded and we're going to move on to the next creation. So you come down. Yeah, just like that. Very good. And then we're going to go left out and right out. Going to drop that thing down on the ground and then we're all finished here. So that is very slowly coming down, as you can see. I'm surprised we got out of that ditch there, actually. It's pretty cool. Anyway, <laughs> it's a pretty good truck. Uh, we'll let that go to about there. That should be a okay. So turn both of them off, and then obviously you would just disconnect the ropes and put them all back into there if you were to pack it all up and move on to the next box. But I will leave a link to this in the description, just like everything else we're going to be looking at today. But for now, let's move on to the next creation of the episode. And next up, we have the D250D coal truck made by Zyzo. This is just one of his many great creations that he's put up on the workshop for everyone to use. This thing is mainly designed for quarries and coal hauling and costs a little over $22,000 to spawn in. It's also been on the workshop for coming up to two years now, but he's just recently updated it and it's working pretty well, actually. I'm pretty impressed. Um, so what you can do, you can actually open the bonnet here, which is pretty nice and reveals the two-cylinder diesel engine. She's using the 3x3 cylinders, which is pretty nice. Got a big old radiator sitting in the front there. And the side's quite open, actually. I really like that. It's very fancy. Uh, let's shut that back up for now, though. So you just keep on winding it, and down it goes. Very good. So it has a couple of radiators at the front as well, a couple of spotlights. It looks awesome. I really like it. Just a nice, cozy little cabin there. And we have the dumper on the back, of course. So let's jump inside. We have a fuel port just there, too. And let's jump inside. So we'll just go up into our seat here, and we're going to shut the door. So we have a couple of mirrors, which you can just see on that side, and you can see that one as well, which is pretty nice. And looking at the dash, we have our speed there. We have our gear, temperature, RPS, fuel, and our battery. So here is the starter. So let's turn this thing on. That is our parking brake indicator, and that looks like our fuel consumption. That is pretty cool. Radiation detector, a few bits and pieces, very nice. So we have some beacons we can turn on on the roof up there on that little roll bar. We also have some work lights and a heater. Uh, so the work lights are just those two spotlights just there. So we'll just turn them off for now. Now we also have raised the bed. So we can, this is how we can dump things. So we'll back up to whatever and tip it all in. So this comes up pretty high. Let's see. Should be yeah, about there. Very good. And then you can just hit release and that will dump everything into wherever we want to put it. <laughs> Preferably another hopper or something or other. But that is okay. So let's put all that down for now. It looks like you can change this from manual to automatic as well, which is pretty cool. Um, so you, what do you do? You push number five for that. So that means I can control this. Yeah, I can. Okay, so that's third gear. Oh, cool. Nice, very good. So this seems to work pretty well. Let's put it back into automatic for now. Is that automatic? I think I... Yeah, it is. Cool. So it looks like it automatically applies the parking brake, which is pretty cool. So if I start moving forward, get a little bit of speed, and I start braking, and it comes to a stop, the parking brake goes on automatically, and then you can put it in reverse... And we can go backwards. Very nice. Awesome. It also has twin tires at the rear there. Uh, so that's pretty good. So you get a lot of grip with that. But I really I really like this thing. It looks very nice. It'd be great to use in your survival world for doing some coal mining and whatnot. I'm not actually sure what the top speed is. So we're about to find out. Let's see what we can get this thing to before we crash into the sand. Let's go for the sand. <laughs> a little bit of an off-road test at the same time. 
Okay, we're doing well over 100. You won't need to go fast than this, I'm sure. Uh, so that might go a little bit slower when it's fully loaded, but that is A-OK. -okay. There's plenty of speed for something like this. Might just go for a little test over some sand here, and then we're going to move on to the next creation. So it looks like we can go for a little bit of water. Very nice. Cool. Obviously, it's not an off-road truck by any means, but it's nice to know that you can still drive it on some rougher surfaces, which is pretty cool. But anyway, just like everything else we're going to be looking at today, I'll leave a link for this down below. Let's move on to the next creation for the episode. Coming up next, we have the Pontius T1 Trainer Aeroplane. This thing is created by a guy named Tingil. Tingil, I'm pretty sure is how you say it. <laughs> and it's been uploaded fairly recently. It has a top speed of 315 kilometers an hour and a range of 1,100 kilometers and costs approximately $55,000 to spawn in. It's a very basic looking plane from the outside, but it actually works pretty well and isn't too bad on the inside at all. So let's go up and have a look, see. We'll open up that canopy here, push that button if I can reach it. There we go, and jump into the seat. Awesome, so let's shut that up. And let's turn a few things on so we can see what's going on here. So that was the engine. What else we got here? Cockpit light, avionics. Okay, cool. Very good. So we have all our instruments here. We have a parking brake indicated there, RPS, engine temperature, battery, starter battery, fuel, GPS Y, GPS X. Very good. So let's turn the parking brake off, landing gear. Okay, we don't want to play with that one just yet. Looks like we have a reverse button just there too. Very good. So let's try and take off in this thing. We're going to do a loop around the island. Then we might come back in for a landing, see if we can actually manage that. Probably not, knowing my luck, but we'll see how we go. Um, so number one is the brakes. I think that's just uh, like wheel brakes, not really the parking brake as such. But anyway, oh, we also have mouse control on this, but we'll worry about that in a minute. Let's get this thing up in the air. So we're going to go full throttle. Yes, come on, up we go. All right, full throttle. Very good. Let's pull over to the right slightly. Okay. And we are up in the air. Awesome. Very good. All right. So, whoa, I'm all over the place. Pull up. <laughs> Very good. Okay. So, let's put our landing gear away. It's that button just there. All folds away. Very nicely, actually. Very good. So looks wise, I actually really like this. I think it looks really cool. It has a very open kind of feeling inside of it. I, re I really like it, man. Anyway, let's come back around. I was going to do a loop around, but we've gone pretty far out. So I might just come around this way and we're going to attempt a landing. Also, let's test out that mouse control. So you push number six. And we're actually controlling the plane with the mouse now. Okay, down, up, okay. Roll left, roll right. Okay, very good. I am not a very good pilot, so I probably shouldn't be mucking around with that. <laughs> but anyway, let's come around this way. So apparently, if you put the throttle on about 40%, you're going to get about seven hours of flight time out of this. That's pretty good. It's not too bad at all. I don't know if that's real time or in game time. But anyway, seven hours, seven hours. That's pretty good. Okay, uh, I think we are going to go for a lap around, actually. I'm a little bit high and far away from there. So when we come in for a landing, we're going to want to be aiming for about 140 to 150 kilometers an hour landing speed, I'm pretty sure. So let's come around this way a little bit. We're going to try and do this. See how we go. <laughs> I might start slowing down now. Actually, it's probably not a bad idea. Let's come around. Just be super careful. I am not the best pilot, so this probably won't go too well, but we'll see how we go. Let's put the landing gear out. I am not even facing the right way. <laughs> Stall. Oh, no. No, 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 no. That's not good. Did I push the wrong button? I pushed reverse, didn't I? Oh, dearie me. Okay, we can recover this. We're all good. Oh, look at that. <laughs> dearie me. That's what I mean. I'm not the best pilot, but that's all right. I pushed reverse instead of um, landing gear. Perfect. <laughs> that's all good. Let's come around and we're going to try this again. What is going on over there? Is that another little plane? How you going? Cool. Okay. Very good. Right, we're going way off where we need to be. Let's come around this way. We need to try and land this thing. All right, so this seems to be a little bit better than before. Let's throttle down even more. Let's put that landing gear out. Let's make sure we push the right button this time. Very good. There is our landing gear. Nice. Let's come down. Yes, what button was the brakes? Number one. Okay, so if we just hold that, we should be just fine. All right, we need to, we really need to slow down, don't we? Okay, yep, slow down even more. Come on, even more. I might just cut the engine at this point. I think that's probably best. Let's hold the brakes and, oh, rough landing, but I think we're alive, actually. Oh, we made it. Good. <laughs> Terrible landing. But anyway, this has been the T1 Trainer Aeroplane by Tinguo. I will leave a link for this down below. Let's move on to the next creation. The next creation we have is the Volvo Titan made by Gub Javel. God, Gub Javel? I'm not too sure. Hopefully I'm saying that right. <laughs> this was also found in the recently uploaded on the workshop. It has a top speed of 151 kilometers per hour and costs a little over $115,000 to sport in, which is quite expensive, but... For good reason, it's a very nice looking truck. It spawns in like this with the dumper up and the trailer disconnected, so we can sort both of those things out. So what we have to do, let's jump in here, we'll get in our seat, and we have to push the down arrow, and that puts the bed down. Very good. So as you can see, it has a very nice kind of wooden looking texture in the bed on both the truck and the trailer. It looks absolutely amazing. Very good. So let's go and have a look at these. So we can actually open up this whole trailer. We push these little bits here. So you can open that one, you can open this one, and the back. 
and so on and so forth. Uh, this one there, very good, yes. So you can do that all the way around, except for this headboard, I believe, which is absolutely fine. And it's the exact same on the truck as well, so you can open everything up, which is pretty cool. Can I? No, it's on here, isn't it? There it is. Very good. So yeah, everything opens up. It looks absolutely amazing. Let's close all of this again. Can I get to that? There we go. Some of these can be a little bit tricky to get to, but that's all right. Push that one up, and we've got this one here, and the one at the back. Boom. So yeah, six-wheel drive, which makes it nice and grippy, which is pretty good. So let's jump in our seat, and we'll shut the door. We also seem to have working mirrors there facing inwards too. That is actually really good. It makes them very useful. I like that. Anyway, so we've got to turn this thing on and we've got to reverse back to connect up that trailer. So to do that, we need to push number one to turn the truck on itself, push number three to go backwards, and number four to turn off the handbrake. Okie dokie, so let's come backwards and boom, there we go. So that leg automatically folds up. Very good. So let's turn reverse off and let's go for a little spin up this way because everything articulates as it should. Looks very nice. Performs and behaves very well. Let's come around this way. What is the top speed of this again? 150. All right, let's see if we can get to there. So we have our fuel tank there, our RPS. We'll be careful where we're going. Battery, kilometers, and engine temperature. Okay, we're doing 145. That is more than enough. Let's stop right here, please. <laughs> Very good. All righty. So let's turn this thing around. Then we're going to come back home, back to our shed there. And we're going to open up the bonnet and have a look at the engine. Um, so let's come back down this way. Very good. Ow. Drives really well, actually. I like it. <laughs> I don't know. Why you'd want to do 150 in it, but you can do that, which is okay. And here we are just pulling up. So we'll put our handbrake on. So that is number four. Very good. Oh, you can lift the axle as well by pushing number five. And there it goes. Oh, cool. Very nice. And we'll put that back down. Very cool. I like that. So you can pop the bonnet with this button right there. And there's our emergency lights as well. So you can turn the hazards on on the trailer they work as well, which is pretty cool. Nothing on the very front of the truck though, but that is a okay. But anyway, let's turn them off and go and have a look at the engine. Open up that door, very good. And oh, I can't even get up there. Oh, big old jump. Can I even get up there? <laughs> oh yeah, okay, there we go. And it just looks like a little baby one. How many cylinders have we got? Two, three, four, eight cylinders? Six or eight, I can't quite see. Looks pretty cool. Looks like we've got a nice manifold over there. A little turbo sitting behind there, it looks like. Very cool. Very well detailed. I really like this thing. It looks amazing. But anyway, this has been the Volvo Titan by Gub Javel. Let's move on to the last creation of the episode. And last but certainly not least, we have the Boeing 737 MAX 9. This thing was built by Dude4081 and has a top speed of 725 kilometers per hour. Can go up to 15,000 feet high and has a range of about 200 kilometers. Uh, give or take, <laughs> depending on the wind, I suppose. I also have absolutely no idea how much this thing costs to spawn in because I can't actually get it up in the workbench. It's just too big. So it can only spawn in through a mission. But nevertheless, it is such a cool airplane. I really like this thing. Let's jump aboard and have a look on the inside. So we should be able to jump up and get in here. Hopefully, yeah, there's a handle. Okay, awesome. So let's do a big old jump. Yep, got it. Good. And in we go. Very nice. So we'll shut that. Bye-bye. Very good. All right. So let's start up here, I suppose. What do we got? Okay, a toilet. We got a little sink. A little bin and oh, toilet cleaner. <laughs> very good. I really like those little features. That makes it look very nice. Looks like there's a bit of water in the bottom too. <laughs> very good. Anyway, on this side, we just have a little bit of equipment, some welders and jackets and whatnot. Very good. We have another door over there. Let's shut that one. Looks like there's some sort of pin code on the door. I don't know if it actually does anything or not because we can actually open it still. But um, anyway, <laughs> let's go on down. This looks like first class, I suppose it would be. A nice little view out the window there. Very nice. So there's a few rows of that and then it moves into economy or just regular. I don't know. Keep on going down. Looks like we have some emergency door plugs here. I don't know if I should push that button or not. Probably shouldn't. Have one on the other side as well. Um, we'll keep on going down. Looks like it's all the same all the way through. Very good. So what's in here? Another toilet. Okay, cool. With a little window this time. Nice. Little view of the wing there. Awesome. Ah, a mirror. Very good. Look at that. How cool is that? Well, that's bright. <laughs> have a little... Is that, oh, I thought that might have worked. Actually, that would have been funny. Have a little oxygen mask there. And yeah, we can lock the door, which is ideal. <laughs> and in the back here, oh, we have a little microwave. One minute, 10 seconds, and start. Hey, a <laughs> little chicken. <laughs> Very good. Very nice. I like that. Uh, looks like we can actually get out the back here too. Oh, geez, can I get that button? Oh, okay, good. Very nice. All right, nice. Very good. Let's move back up to the front of the plane. Let's shut some doors here. Can I even get to that door? How do you shut it? Okay, I don't think I can actually shut that for some reason. There must be a button on there. I don't know. Who cares? Let's go up to the front and see if we can actually make this thing move. Let's go in here. We'll shut the door to the toilet. Yeah, because that's the right thing to do. And we're going to lock ourselves in here. Goodbye, everybody. Goodness me. I don't... Surely that don't do anything. Yeah. <laughs> and you can move that across. Okay, cool. Nice. What is in here? 
Oh, just controls. Okay, we don't need to be in here, I don't think. <laughs> Let's get out of there. Very good. And we're going to shut that little hatch. Oh, and there it is. Very good. All right, so captain seat. And okay, we're on over here. First officer sits over there. So how on earth do you turn this thing on? Okay, we can set altitude. What if we go maybe 600? Yeah, it's all like that. Let's get a few things ready. Uh, the heading, I have no idea. Autopilot. Okay, we should probably maybe not play with that just yet. There is a lot going on here. I know we're definitely going to need some pumps, maybe some cross feeds. I don't, I don't know. Do we need that? Okay, I've got absolutely no idea. We've got some landing lights. Turn off. Okay, taxi lights. Cool. APU. Okay, start engines, I suppose. Can we... Oopsie. Can we do that? Yep. Okay, oh, position lights. Okay, we've got a fair few things to do here. Oh, okay, something's turned on. <laughs> Better turn on some avionics. Main power wouldn't hurt. Uh, I'm just going to flick anything I think is okay. Hydraulics, definitely going to need those. That's quite important. Oh, i got little windscreen wipers. Oh, look at that. How good is that? <laughs> Very cool. That, that, I like that. That is awesome. Uh, we don't need it on, however, so let's turn them both off. Oh, we can both wipers. Wee! Oh, very good. How cool is that? Cool, we'll turn them both off. Extremely safety lock. Okay, so that must be if there's an engine fire, I suppose. Looks like we can disable some stabilizers over here. Very good to know. All right, so the current control is me. All right, so how do we turn off the park brake? Is it even on? How do I know if it's on or not? Oh, well, sure enough, it's right in front of me. So we go parking brake off. Let's go full throttle. Let's take off in this thing. Very nice. So we have our logo lights on there. We have our... Oh, jeez, I don't think we need all that on. But anyway, we're on the move. We are currently moving. Very good. Okie dokie. So we'll get ready to lift off in a moment. I don't know what kind of speeds we're looking for. But anyway, let's pull up about now before we end up in the drink there. Okay, we're up. We are up. Very good. So let's turn on our altitude hold. Search away. <laughs> <laughs> we're going up steep very good let's put that landing gear away as well landing gear so that should all fold away okay the front has completely disappeared and the rear has gone up into the belly there very good nice so we're just going to stick it about this altitude i think i do hope this isn't too loud that is so loud in my ears might go down to maybe oh that would be right hopefully that's a bit better all right so i don't know what any of this means if i'm completely honest can i okay it says 70 can i make it go higher no i have no idea man Current control, that's me. All right, so cool. There's a lot going on here. A lot of you guys might know how this works. I've got absolutely no idea, to be completely honest with you. Um, but that's all right. We're in the air, so that's all that matters. Let's actually attempt a landing. Let's try and turn this thing back around if we can. Let's turn that off. And we're going to come around to the right here. Very good. And we're going to come back around to the left and actually see if we can put this thing on the ground. That would be pretty interesting. I don't think I'll be able to, or safely anyway, but we'll definitely give it a shot. This feels really, um, or as far as Stormworks goes, realistic to kind of fly. It's nice, slow controls. Just feels good. I like it. So let's come around. Very nice. And we should probably start coming down a little bit too. There is a creative base over that way. All right, so let's come this way. Who knows if I'm going to be able to do this or not. <laughs> Haven't had too much luck with landing planes in our career series, but we'll give this one a shot. Now, I don't know what kind of landing speeds we're looking for. On the Steam page, it's saying 30 to 35% um, percent on the throttle here. So let's go down. Oh, 36. Should we try 36? That, that won't stall us. Well, it should be fine. Hopefully, I guess we're about to find out. So let's come. Okay, just make sure we're staying on target here. Very good. All right. So let's put our landing gear back out. Where was that button again? Over here. Good. So we'll put all that back out. Hopefully, it's strong enough to hold us. <laughs> all right. Let's come down. As long as we don't stall me there, we should be fine. Hopefully, we're up. Oh, we're a little bit off-center, actually. <laughs> we should be fine, hopefully. Let's come down a little bit more. Very good. Okay, we should have taken some passengers with us. That would have been fun. No, we'd probably kill them all. Probably shouldn't do that. All right, let's come down. We are actually... Oh, we're not too bad, I suppose. A little bit better than that little red plane that we are using um, in terms of our positioning right now. Okay. We should be super careful. Don't rush. Okay, we're doing about 200 now. We're slowing down quite a bit. As long as we don't stall, which it looks like we may. Okay, I might have to throttle up a little bit, I think. <laughs> and I'm going to put the handbrake on as well. So when we hit the ground, we should stop straight away. I need to pull up. I need to pull up. I need to pull up. And oh, dear me. Okay, engines off. Engines are off completely. And down we go. Oh, oh, straight in the front landing gear. <laughs> it took a beating, but it's back up. We're okay. Oh, dearie me. We're alive. Somehow we're alive. Okay, let's come around to the right here. Let's turn off that handbrake. All right, let's come around this way. Very good. So we actually made it, which is surprising. That front landing gear is still holding up somehow. I don't know how, man. It's working. <laughs> but that is A-OK. -okay. Very good. Oh, that was fun. 
I like that. I have no idea how to turn any of this off. I could just flick everything or we could just leave it, I suppose. It doesn't really matter. But yeah, very awesome plane. Well done to Dude 4081. It is absolutely awesome. It looks good, flies really well. It's just a pity the pilot isn't that good of a flyer, but that is A-OK. -okay. A little bit more training wouldn't hurt. <laughs> but anyway, guys, that might do us for today. I hope you all enjoyed the first episode of this new series. If you did, let me know down below. But for now, I'd like to say thank you all very much for watching. And I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next one.